good morning sir yeah good morning shay and uh, good morning to all my viewers and podcast listeners we would i would like to introduce bhushan veli sir to our uh, listeners he is a senior technical lead at kpit he has pursued with b from amrutwani college of mechanical engineering and done his ms from computational engineering from nuronberg sir also contributed in companies like wipro infotech and many others thank you sir for giving your time to us yeah okay. we will like to start with our first question sir how are you and how is everything going in this pandemic yeah so i am good uh, things are picking up after pandemic but anyways we were working throughout pandemic uh, so things for me uh, as of now are normal but uh, things are picking up okay sir thank things you are good yeah, yeah. sir so, starting from your journey like uh, you com- you completed your uh, b from amrutwani college from mechanical engineering and how you turned into ms how you yeah so uh, from computer yeah yeah so uh, i did my ms after many years of working in corporate environment and i realized that you know only being a mechanical engineer uh, with some good skill is you know uh, they are, they were not sufficient and i had to diversify and uh, uh, i have to be multidisciplinary so uh, uh, the biggest challenge in mechanical engineering nowadays is or, or everywhere in the industry is there are two three types of jobs so there are lower level middle level and higher level jobs so lower level jobs uh, shop floor jobs and all those things uh, are there which are occupied by you know semi skilled or highly skilled people from uh, you know uh, from iti's or diploma like that and high, uh, higher position jobs are basically occupied by all the uh, from uh, people with you know multidisciplinary skills or people from uh, iit's and uh, and like that yeah. so and there are very few middle level jobs like design engineering or something like that so i felt that after some time in career uh we should have a master degree and a good exposure so uh, i always wanted to do my master uh, so as i was fortunate to get a job very soon after coming out of my engineering uh, it got delayed but finally then i uh, went to uh, germany for my master in computational engineering so uh, it was an attempt to uh, uh become multidisciplinary and diversify my diversify my portfolio or my understanding okay sir so why you choose germany for computational engineering so i uh, i was working with uh, many companies uh, uh, from all over the world uh, and i felt that you know the way germans and japanese they work uh, i was very fascinated and i was very impressed the way these two countries work so japan was you know a bit out uh, of limit for me the only option or the only thing i liked was germany uh, as you know it is an automotive hub it is a mecca for uh, mechanical engineers uh, that's why i chose germany uh, and also germany uh, uh, as the tuition fees and all those things so uh, it is economical also uh, and facility wise also it's world class I went to Germany. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. For sharing this information with us, and uh, how would you go about delegating task of a project among your team? Yeah. So uh, our team is uh, is again the way I'm working. I'm working in R and D. So scenarios are different in different different companies and different different uh, and different mm-hmm. institutes. but uh, in r&d what we generally do is we have a small strike team and we do all sorts of work so it's not like you know dedicated work to somebody or means everybody there are specializations uh, but uh, we do all sorts of work so uh, in our team basically we have certain skills uh, certain skills uh, 
uh, of people and uh, what we do is there are certain stages of pro uh, project so for example if in the conception stage we all come together we discuss so there is a full participation of team and there is no specific agenda uh, the only agenda is you know designing brainstorming and all those things so uh, uh, the second stage is design stage where we all design engineers come together the third stage is production stage where the production uh, people with production skill come together and final stage is assembly and testing so we all come together so in my team there are multidisciplinary people they have the specific roles and whenever uh, uh, according to the stage and the requirement we allocate the work accordingly so uh, sometimes few people take lead others people uh, other team members take a back seat uh, and it happen uh, and the role changes uh, and we all support each other in that so that's how we delegate our work. so this is a long term work routine work is you know uh, it is quite a process so uh, according to the process according to the role uh, work is done regular okay sir thank you sir uh, like the what is as you completed uh, i was asking about uh, job about your job opportunity things you have faced during your job competition overall in country switching job is a way to acquire good position uh, uh, not really uh, so we there are two uh, two ways of looking at it one is you know uh, growth wise and other is money wise so uh, yes uh, uh, it is a bitter truth that if you really want to have a good you know jump in money or, or financially you have to switch a job but uh, i don't recommend that uh, because you have to be in one company for a long time so that you can you, you know uh, uh, you can elevate yourself the exposure you, choose, you know, what you get uh, you know all those things are asset uh, for building your career frequently switching job is not a good option mm -hmm. uh, we should be in an organization uh, uh, for a long time so that we can build good relationship with other people uh, get good exposure so uh, and you grow up in ladder may not be financially that uh, prominently but it is an investment so you work for uh, longer time you invest a lot of time in uh, a company and gain good knowledge good understanding deep understanding of uh, everything from process to people to skill everything. so i recommend people should stay in one job for at least Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, when you thought that you should uh, get a comp degree from computational engineering, sir? Yeah. So basically, uh, my area of working is computational fluid mechanics. So I work in CFD simulations and analysis. And uh, when I was, you know, uh, when I was working, I was doing some projects and all those things. So I was really interested in, you know, understanding what is happening. Exactly happening, happening. Uh, you know, uh, in the software, how it stalls things. Uh, uh, you know, while application, you should know what is going on in, uh, you know, uh, at, at the in the background, what is happening. So you should have a deeper understanding of that. Secondly, I had a very good. Uh, I I like coding, so I do a lot okay. of coding. I like uh, uh, doing few projects. Uh, so uh, so coding was also my passion. So all these things combined together, uh, obviously my choice was computational engineering where I learned a lot of things about, you know, uh, and mathematics is my favorite subject. So mathematics, computer science, and all other stuff uh, converge to computational engineering. So what advice would you give to new team members to onboard uh, well on these degrees? Yeah, so basically, uh, the only mantra I think is uh, multidisciplinary. A mechanical engineer or any other engineer should not stick to only what he learns or uh, um, uh, or his domain. Uh, he, uh, coding, basically, uh, you should learn at least one language if you are interested in, uh, and you should be really very good in that uh, language. Second thing is uh, to go forward. See, you have uh, people coming out of colleges or freshers, they don't have experience, and uh, that is a problem when it comes to industry. 
so basically what you should do is you should go and have some internship somewhere mm-hmm. at least six months internship uh, in a good uh, in any industry you go there uh, you try to learn the processes you try to learn uh, the way of working uh, you you get good exposure there and uh, uh, and your final year projects are also very important so what uh, uh, final year projects uh, they are summation of or uh, uh, they are convergence of all your knowledge uh, so what you do is you do a good project and you try to implement all your learnings and understandings and everything into that project see what happens is when you go out and give interviews people will ask you what re- people are not interested are less, less interested in whether you got 75% or 80% it doesn't matter 5% here and there it matters what is your understanding how much knowledge you have gained uh, whether you can think logically uh, whether you can solve problem whether you can work in team so this are important stuff what people look into people when they are hiring so all these things come uh, uh, you you, know, you can uh, you can get all these things well after doing a good project you don't you know you don't just copy paste project uh, even if you make a small project try to design everything implement everything uh, don't only look that project as you know um, a mechanical working machine stuff you try to understand the business logic uh, behind that uh, this uh, can you scale uh, the, your product uh, what what will be the price of that product how much uh, price uh, how much amount you have spent how can you reduce price how can you optimize the uh, uh, solution or the product uh, or your project so all these things you have to think while doing project uh, project is a golden opportunity for you all Uh, to learn and mature your thinking process and you should do it uh, very sincerely that's what i believe because that is the only thing you can show to people or you can conv- uh, you can show to people or people in the industry uh, uh, which makes a good impression yeah yeah sir uh, what was your failure like what you learned from that failure yes yeah, so f- failure are part of life you know it is not like a single big failure there are small small failures which come every day every uh, in every job and you have to learn from that and failures are of different different uh, they come in different forms and shapes sometimes it's a design failure sometimes it is a communication failure sometimes it is you know uh, so, so there are many many types of failure which come into your life and uh, these small small failures make you a good person so uh, there is no big failure as such but there are there are series of failure and i see failures every day day in and day out as i'm working in r&d but we improvise on that so uh, if you think that a big failure comes to your way and then you le- learn it not like that failures are always there in your life uh, okay. and you have to learn from yeah. yes sir so as everyone says there are no jobs for engineers available in market like what do you think is that is it true or false like yes the thing is job uh, situation is uh, uh, not that good in uh, anywhere in india Be- not only because of pandemic but because of you know lot of automation has happened so uh, uh, automotive industry so and many people are coming out with very less skill uh, problem is not a job problem is getting the uh, right person for right job people coming out of most of the engineering colleges do not have uh, uh, enough exposure uh, and a, uh, a positive attitude or i can say a good attitude uh, while they come out so uh, when we are taking interviews we realize that uh, there is a lack of sincerity in people there is a lack of you know uh, a lack of will to work hard uh and uh, to diversify so uh, everybody for example from mechanical engineering team when they come out team when they come out they only think of a design job in their mind you know uh, and everybody cannot get a design job uh, or everybody cannot uh, get uh, uh, this type of job so people while coming out they should be ready to diversify there is there is something called supply chain management there is something called you know Uh, there there are many many fields uh, where you can uh, contribute 
i think while coming out you should keep, uh, you should have a specific unique skill with you uh, for example mall design uh, stamping uh, simulation forming simulations you can do so this type of skills if you bring with you uh, i'm not talking about the software you just learn a software you come out it is of no use because you you don't understand the technology behind that so while coming out uh, students should have uh, some skill in hand to have better job opportunities otherwise it becomes very difficult to get okay. job yes sir right uh, how do you handle your tight deadlines so uh, the tight deadlines are can only be handled through uh, good processes okay so if you if you have so in corporate environment we have very good processes uh, we have very good delegation of work we have very good time uh, uh, task and time tracking mechanism uh, we have dedicated pe dedicated people to ensure that that happens yes so uh, uh, planning is very important uh, breaking down task into small small activities uh, uh, and then uh, planning uh, planning them accordingly uh, dedicated uh, dedicating them time uh, is very important Uh, so we do all these things uh, and we manage our schedule accordingly and like uh, what advice would you like to give to mechanical engineers which are up upcoming engineers yeah so uh, same thing what i told you uh, there are only two things uh, i think you should be multidisciplinary you yeah. should not stick only to uh, only to Uh, your stuff of mechanical engineering you should do coding you should do uh, you should go into machine learning see mechanical engineering students have an advantage they have knowledge of system also they have understanding of design they have understanding of processes and uh, real life projects are about even if they are computer science related they are about real time uh, problem and mechanical engineering engineers being very close to this type of problems have an unique advantage only thing is they have to uh, they have to start diversifying them learn uh, uh, so uh, not everybody is interested in coding but then you should diversify yourself so you should go into supply chain management you should go into you know uh, more technology stuff uh, forming uh, die casting all this type of stuff stuff you want to really okay. yeah yeah thank you sir sir uh, yeah i am sorry it was engineers day happy engineers day sir uh, happy engineers day to you yeah. <laughs> i totally forgot yeah, yeah. yeah no issue at all <laughs> every day is engineers day for us yeah sir yeah. thank thank yeah. you sir